has become the symbol of the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History, a landmark to millions of visitors who say, meet you at the elephant. Frozen in a brisk trot since 1959, this guy is the largest land animal ever mounted, the second largest ever collected. But fame and the open rotunda have taken their toll. The elephant's tusks, fakes made of celluloid plastic, were rotting away. So just recently, in an operation much like dentistry, he got some new ones. Sawing the old tusks off was easy, but scraping the rest out took several days. It was quite a media event. Even the real ivory tusks, much too heavy and delicate for regular public display, came out of storage. But it was nothing compared to the original mounting of the elephant. When J.J. Fenikovi, a Madrid businessman, gave the Smithsonian his treasured elephant hide in 1957, it was stiff as a piece of plywood. Mounting it took 16 months, and it was declared a masterpiece of taxidermy. Frank Greenwell, who still looks after the elephant, remembers there was a trap door in his belly back then. It was quite interesting. It was like working inside the Trojan horse. You could actually uh, work and move around inside the animal which, with a bunch of uh, ribs reinforced with wood. And there was some steel beams put inside the animal for further support. But we could use it right now. Yes, we could. But the trap door has long been sealed, so Frank and the rest of the crew had to attach the new fiberglass tusks from the outside, which was much trickier. It made your teeth hurt just to watch, but it worked. With the addition of a few pins, the African bush elephant was complete again in all his glory at the National Museum of Natural History. Here at the Smithsonian, I'm Ann Carroll.